All right, guys, welcome back to another Dragonair video. As I mentioned in my last video, this time I'm going to make a video showcasing the Rally team in season two. We have the affinity change and stuff, so the Rally team is gonna look a bit different. Um, like overall, I think Radius is still one of the best affinity in the game. It's really well rounded, both single target and AOE. Um, and and the thing is, with Radius, if you have these good legendaries, you can really just make a team with a single affinity you don't even need to use any other affinity going alongside with with the radiance champion right you have gillian one of the best healer you have mithrasia the only broken reviver in the game and then you have acelia another broken healer right if you have all these champions you can really don't have to go with any other champion from other affinity and, and of course the main me damaging mechanic is rally um, actually, I made a video about Rally around two months ago. I was using Rally all along in season one. Rally was one of my favorite mechanic. The reason being is I did I did not have Flora, so Flora in season one was the most broken champion. I had to go with Rally. Rally is Rally was great, and the champion I was using was Feet Filto, right? And I thought Filto was the best Rally champion in the game. Technically, it's kind of true based on his damage, right? So the damage is 600% times 3. That is 1800%. That's probably the highest damaging multiplier in the game so far. And this crazy basic attack. And then when I use this champion in Vortex, Temporal Vortex, I realized the problem. The problem is the champion recharges his ultimate energy by 20%. If he has rally, it seems like it's a good thing, right? He's going much, much faster. He gets his turns nonstop. Seems like it's a good thing. But the problem is, when you have a team fully set up, you will use a champion that um, that is using like a, the def defense penalty artifact, right? That can put defense penalty on the boss. And when you are using that champion in any other affinity, right? You are going to set up the DPS skill timer to be like 20 seconds every cast, right? But Rally is different because you have Lauren Theo. Lauren Theo is going to boost your uh, Rally allies ultimate energy by 25%. This is actually okay because this boosts the entire team's ultimate energy. But the problem with Fito is, Fito, he only boosts himself. That would just result in the DPS timer is completely messed up. When he uses his ultimate, uh, ultimate skill, the boss does not have uh, defense penalty, stuff like that. It's not really a big issue in the dungeons, but it kind of become a major issue in Vortex, right? That's why I start to feel like maybe in Vortex, you should pick Stalando or Huberg before Filto. That's just my gut feeling. Right, because right now I have Thalando. I just pulled Thalando uh, beginning of Season 2. He is absolutely awesome in Vortex. And I'm able to like make their skill timing align with each other. So, uh, for example, my ultimate is always going to go first. It's going to put defense penalty on the boss with this 10 hit ultimate. Right, and Lauren Theo is going to boost everybody's, turn, uh, everybody's ultimate energy. So that's fine, right? And then we have DPS champion like Thalandor or Huberg that can do damage. They don't have any skill that is going to boost their ultimate energy. So their skill timing is aligned. I just want to say these things so you guys understand why sometimes using Filto, like the skill timing is completely messed up. By the way, when you're using Rally Team, you cannot set their skill to like 20 seconds every cast, right? It doesn't make sense because Lauren Theo boosts your entire team's ultimate energy. So that's about it for the for the for the Rally DPS and for the epic ones. There is actually a good epic for Rally. That is uh, Gutina. This is this champion actually does a lot of damage. All right, but uh, seems like nobody's building him because um like <laughs> if you have one of these Rally champions, you don't have to build uh, Gutina, right? And this season, uh, Rally is affiliated with Ice. In Ice, there are a lot of good support champions. 
The best one for Vortex is Philosia. The champion itself is absolutely insanely powerful, right? Insane amount of shield. This champion can help you survive to like, I remember if it's uh, stage three or below, it, it can help you survive to 200 stacks of boss uh, buff, right? It's insane. This damage reduction uh, control immunity and <laughs> yeah. It is a really, really good champion. And looking at here, the champion I'm using right now might be a little bit surprising. I'm actually using this guy, Urion. Right? Because um, I'm actually missing some uh, key support champion. I don't have Gillian. Right? If I have Gillian, I'm probably just going to go with Gillian. And I could use Mithrasia, um, but I just feel like this Resurrect on Death the issue with this thing is uh, it's gonna mess up my skill timing. It will mess up my skill timing, so I prefer not to use Revive on Death. Unless I have to, right? And lucky part is I have Acelia, which is amazing for Vortex. It has this debuff immunity. I think it's really, really necessary in Stage 4, where you have to remove the defense penalty from the boss. This is really necessary, right? And... Um, but this guy here, um, I don't think he's good for Vortex. Yeah, his ultimate doesn't... Yeah, debuff immunity is, is okay, right? Uh, maybe he's good in Vortex. But um, I already have one debuff immunity, so I'm not gonna go with uh, Femsia. Like, I really want to use a champion like Acelia, pairing with another champion that can, that can do like AoE increased defense or AoE shield or AoE ally protection. For the shield and increased defense, I don't have any other champion, so maybe Alcibri, but um, yeah, maybe she Alcibri is, is good in Vortex. That is true. Maybe she is good, right? Uh, but I went with uh, Urion. I'm gonna try uh, Alcibri later, but this guy is actually quite good in Vortex, right? Uh, this AoE out of protection, and he put a massive shield on himself uh, with a defense multiplier, so you can make her de make his defense really high, right? And then he has this attack penalty. Like, the reason that putting debuff is kind of important is that <clears throat> in the new season, the developers, they change the gear set effect. So on this set here, when the warrior successfully inflicts a debuff, all ally will gain 15% attack. It's a little bit different. I think in last season, it is like when the warrior cast ultimate skill, everybody gets increased attack. In this season, you have to use um, you have to you have to put a debuff on the enemy. So this becomes kind of important, right? Ha using a champion like this can give your entire team a fifteen percent uh attack buff half of the time, right? This like well maybe not half of the time because this is a battle skill. Like this is probably gonna happen all the time. This is ten seconds, right? And his battle skill, if this is fully booked, this is going to be 10 seconds cooldown as well, right? I know the build seems a little bit weird. I'm using the sand, uh, Hourglass on this champion. The only reason I'm using Hourglass is uh, I do not have enough book. Uh, I don't really spend anything on this account, uh, right? Other than the beginning of the season, I bought some summonings. Other than that, I did not buy any special packs from the store. So I do not have enough books. And when I slowly book him up, uh, I will use, maybe I'll use this one. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I'm, I will use this one or I'll use this one. This one's quite good because it gives him uh, extra defense, which gives him a thicker shield. So for champions that can do debuff to the boss on the battle skill, it, it is really, really good, right? Because you, your team is going to have 15% increased attack all the time, basically all the time, right? Um, that, that is about it. I think this champion is really good in, in Temporal Vortex. Uh, since the, the guy can, cannot, uh, he can't do any healing. So, Acelia has to do all the healing. That's why you're gonna build Acelia with really, really high enlightenment. Unfortunately, on my account, I do not have a single piece of enlightenment chest plate. So, I'm gonna swap this chest plate to enlightenment. And uh, my Acelia can do a lot more healings. A lot more healings. And that is basically about it. I'm going to show you guys a run. I already did a run. Um, I'm at rank 21. 
on, on the server so it's not really like crazy high because all these top damaging Ooh, the guy's using poison team that is interesting i thought people are using ice blast team like this guy is using ice blast team ice blast team ice blast team wow poison team with 96 million maybe I, i'm gonna work on this team i'm gonna work on this team and this team doesn't seem that pay to win <laughs> i'm gonna be honest this team doesn't seem so pay to win holy crap okay i'm gonna try this team 96 million that that is insane that is absolutely insane all right anyways let, let's uh stick with the topic here i already challenged the boss um okay so let me just show you guys my skill timing i did roughly 30 million so uh for the raleigh champion just don't put a skill casting interval on the ultimate just set up their initial timer and all the skills should align uh, then for Acilia, I put it at 14.5 to resist those de uh, decreased defense. Right? And for uh, Yurion, I use ally protection and yeah, that is about it. right? Just uh, making sure the skill doesn't overlap with each other. And that's about it. I'm going to show you guys a run. Um, I think it do does decent damage. And <clears throat> I guess I'll be right back. Right? Let's see what their damage looks like and be right back. Alright, so I guess my team is, is about to fall apart here. 30 million damage. I, like, I'm okay with that. If I can be like pretty much at number 20 of the of the ranking, I think I'm okay with that. As long as I get those um golden sounding ticket, right? Um yeah, 30 million, that's about it. I think it's it's good enough, especially it's like the stage four just opened today. It is the first day of stage four. And I'm able to do uh, 30 million. It's quite good, right? It's quite good. And Altum actually does a very decent amount of damage. That is surprising, right? Altum is a very, very solid damage dealer, I feel like. Okay. Altum does almost 10 million. Glendor, 15 million. And uh, Lauren Theo basically support. And yeah, I guess. Uh, <laughs> That is about it. Alright, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, are you guys using Rally Team? Let me just take a look if there are any other people using Rally Team. So basically, new season is just um, ice, blast, ice Blast everywhere. Yeah, Ice Blast or Wild. Yeah, people are using this Rally Team as well. Yeah, with Gillian, like I, I think Gillian is a really, really good ch choice. The only issue is I don't have the chance. So many people using Rally Team, right? So many people. And yeah, I'm gonna try this team next. I don't have Ogok, but I have all the rest. I'm gonna see what happens, right? Uh, okay, so yeah, uh, that's about it for the video. Uh, let me know what you guys think of Radiance team. Um, I'll see you guys in the video soon. Bye.